unfortunately we see raising its head in Grenado. It's not something that's new, but it has been a, a matter of culture, um, sometimes acceptable. And so what we're finding now through public education and awareness is that we're finding more reports of gender-based violence. It's an issue that we're seeing across age categories, across cultures, race, creed, religions, all of those. Um, it's not one subgrouping, but we're finding it throughout length and breadth with financial status as well, significant throughout all. program which is a program for perpetrators of gender-based violence that is primarily court connected so the perpetrators would be charged with an offense under the domestic violence legislation and then they can be directed by the court to participate in this psychoeducational program so it's called man to man in Grenada but that is a program that's actually a part of a regional initiative that's called partnership for peace then we operate a program that is called Changes, which is a victim survivors empowerment program for women who've suffered gender-based violence. The whole aim of the program is to show that violence is a choice. And so the 16 weeks we go through ways of processing things that persons don't normally think about. But at the end of the day, where the, the persons who are referred to the program realize that they're responsible for their actions. And so it is a choice that they can make whether to be violent or not. When guys come into the program, the very first, maybe two or three sessions, they are angry. They are upset. Some of them are a little bit scared. Um, they basically would say, "Look, I, I don't need this. You know, it's a woman that should be here. She's the one that caused this, and she's the one that caused that. And you know, if she didn't do this or that, um, I would not hit her, or we would not have had that. That's not a problem." What we encourage all of our participants is to understand that the program is for you and not for your spouse. One of the things I like about the program is that it covers all aspects of interpersonal relationships, the major ones that is, so that while persons come in with one attitude, generally by the end of the program, most participants are asking for an extension of or some form of follow-up interventions. It was basically about managing anger, managing yourself, managing perspective, prisoners' pers perspective, and all that. And knowing when your body point starts, you know. And that was an eye opener for me because I never thought there was that point. Um, most of what I know basically the eruption, you know. But there has to be a boiling point, and we were made aware of that. The most useful thing I learned that no is simply no. And any decision you make, it was already thought of before you did it. Because I slapped my wife back from me, I had to think of slapping her before I even slapped her. So it's not alcohol that made me do it or nothing like that. I wanted to do it and I did it and I was wrong. women are provided with information, skills on how to deal with conflict within the relationships, how to deal with being abused, how to move forward. A lot of times women blame themselves for the abuse that they experience and so we try to educate them that it was a choice that the partner made. These women didn't have a voice. So at home in their relationship they don't have much of a voice. 
at the beginning they bring that with them but being in the program having the opportunity to express their feelings and not being judged and like I said before hearing that my story is unique yes but other women are experiencing the same thing it just motivates them to speak out and the fact that some of the topics you know just the way the, the sessions are arranged allows for people to share, for the women to share and in doing so they have been finding their voice and the fact that what they share is validated it just you know gives them the drive to, to share more and to speak more and to find their voice more I've learned to respect myself and let others have respect for me and uh, yes, I set boundaries and values for myself now as I speak and there's things I need to eliminate from my life and I did these things so I know I'm on the right track now. I was in a new situation for like 15 years and the thing is I never knew I was being abused. It's only when I, I mean I knew be in the situation because I was married for all these years. I knew it felt uncomfortable. I wasn't happy, but I never understood what was actually happening. So if you're in that situation, you could come to the legal aid department and get counseling and get help. Thank you.